lovely old American pattern. Another royal on panel, panel by Mr. Anderson. Uh, voluptuous fruit and vegetable. There's the artichoke and the lemons and the pomegranate. And old masters love to do that kind of thing. At least 130 paintings to be offered the day of the auction by Mr. Anderson, one of the largest uh, collections of uh, Mr. Anderson's artwork ever to hit the uh, public offering in a one-day auction, which is Saturday, June 5th. Preview opens up at 10 a.m. in the morning, and the live auction starts at 1230. Tom, you want to tell them a little bit about the... Uh, the old Beautiful tavern table. table. The tavern tables were very popular. And they came in a variety of very elegant to very country. Quite often they did not have a drawer, but this one has a drawer to it, which extends the purpose of it. They were solid, they were well used. I got this in Litchfield, and Litchfield had three taverns, so it could have been used in one of the Litchfield taverns, but... <coughs> nice little inverted, all pegged. Was done with several refinements, you know, the turnings yeah. of the leg and then... The great carving here. <coughs> we discovered the carving here. of the lion, which is honoring the Swedish soldiers that were in France at the time of the French Revolution. It was, this is a maquette, or a, later it was done in marble, and the monument is in France, but honoring the Swedish soldiers who tried to help the king and the queen escape. Very they nice. were not successful. Covered dishes here. Uh, <laughs> this is lot 270 Wedgwood, old London views. And then there's uh, more Wedgwood there. You're getting all these under one, one lot number. The period table here, Tom, lot 271. That's a drop leaf drop -leaf. table. Dining table, we'll see eight people comfortably. This is on the wide side, generally. Mahogany, again, solid as can be. Another one of my favorites, lot number 264. Tom will tell you about it. <coughs> Litchfield, uh, Connecticut. An armchair, a Litchfield chair, Sunflower. Unusual in that it has a medallion in the arm. It was one of a set of 12. I don't know where the other 11 are. It has been restored, but it was done very well. Circular 1780, 1790. There isn't that much of Litchfield furniture, so I was very happy to get a piece of Litchfield. Gorgeous. Got a wonderful. Again, we have a solid Santo Domingo mahogany drop leaf table with the animal legs ending in lion paws. Very heavy wood. Spectacular base. Very deep, deep drop leaves. Gorgeous table for any room. Talk a little bit about this piece, Tom. The uh... that's the European piece, a little settee carved 
high back as they generally were at that period. That's lot 166. Ready to be used. Take it right home. And how about lot 167, Tom? This is an early one done by uh, Anderson. It's probably Anderson. his own cat, but I'm not sure about that. But various poses of a cat. Done in 1950, about? Thereabouts, yeah. yes. Yeah. Part of the collection to be auctioned. <clears throat> The uh, bullseye mirror over here, Tom. She had a lot of interest in the bullseye mirror. Tom can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, the convex glass mirrors were very popular very often with eagles as the finials. They could come very elaborate or a little on the plain side, but they were enormously popular in colonial America. Supposedly there were 13 balls on the frame to represent the 13 American colonists. And how about the antique painting of the uh, lady there? The primitive painting, American, probably of an actress in a Shakespeare play, I would think. interest in these lamps, Tom, with the toll wear shades on them. Done in the French style, they're candlesticks made into lamps, adjustable shades.